What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy Lou Sid, man. I'm just here to show you guys today how I make my open verse duets on TikTok and Instagram. I've been getting a lot of questions from different artists that wanted to know how I make, you know, high quality open verse challenge videos on both platforms. So today I'm gonna show you how I make those videos. I put a little time, a little bit of love into mine. So if you have the tools that I'm gonna put forth in the video, Make sure you do the same and you'll have your videos just like mine. Now, first things first, I need y'all to follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Lucid Raps and subscribe to the channel, like the video. Now that we got all the formalities out the way, let's get into how I make my open verse challenge videos. First thing I do on TikTok or Instagram, you wanna go to the original posters open verse challenge video and you wanna download that video. On TikTok, in the bottom right corner, there's an arrow for sharing. You want to click that arrow and save the video to your device, whether it be your phone or your computer. On Instagram, I'm not sure they have a download feature, but I'm going to give you a website that you can use to download any video on Instagram. You want to go to snapinsta.app. Then you want to copy the link from your Instagram video, and you want to drop it on that site, and you want to download it. That's going to give you the video from the original open verse challenge video um, that site exists for TikTok as well it's called snaptick.app in case you don't know how to do it on TikTok after you got your video now you want to record your freestyle so I use Logic Pro X a lot of you guys have different recording software some of you guys have Pro Tools um, some of you guys use your phone some of you guys have GarageBand whatever you use just make sure you have a software that you can clean up your audio make it nice and crispy and I drop the original video from the open verse challenge into the session and extract the audio this is an important step do not change the original audio from the original video at all do not clip anything at the beginning do not clip anything at the end just drag it and drop it use that audio to record your freestyle once you record your freestyle you can clean it up make it sound really good um, once you got a high quality sound you save it bounce it out that's going to be your audio that you use over your video. Next, record your video. So I use a full frame DSLR Canon camera to record my freestyles. You don't have to. You can use your iPhone. Whatever method you have to get a nice high quality video, use that video and then save the file from that video. Once you have your high quality video, you want to open up whatever um, video editing software you have. I use Adobe Premiere Pro. I know a lot of guys, a lot of you guys may not have the Adobe Premiere Suite, um, but I do. I have Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, some of you guys may have Final Cut. Um, you can use iMovie. Whatever you use to uh, edit videos, you can download an app in the App Store. Anything works that will allow you to drag and, you know, edit your video like you need to do it. Um, once I got my video in Adobe Premiere Pro, I drag and drop my audio as well. And, you know, it takes a little time. You have to line up your video to the audio that you recorded. Do not change anything about the audio you recorded because it is still perfectly in line with the original posters open verse challenge. And I'll show you why that's important later. But once you have your video lined up to your audio, now you can start to edit in Adobe or Final Cut, whatever you want to use to get your video um, nice and to your liking like you can have your video full screen and have the original poster you know cropped in the corners or you can do side by side just like TikTok and instagram naturally does when you choose to duet or remix the video um however you like it do it to your liking i've seen it seen it done many ways and a lot of people have had success in all these different ways um another thing i like to do at this step is i like to add custom captions in adobe to my video like I like to put uh, my own font and clarify everything that I'm saying in my lyrics because sometimes TikTok and Instagram is egregiously wrong. So I like to do it myself. That way I know there's no mistakes and people know exactly what I'm saying and it looks nice. You don't have to do it, I choose to. Once you got your video all edited the way you want it to be, export it and now you have a really high quality video file with the audio sounding really crispy like you want it. Once you have your video now, you can go to TikTok or Instagram and it's time to upload your freestyle. Most important part of the step here, right? So let's make sure you do it correctly. 
on TikTok and Instagram, what you want to do is go to the original posters video and you want to go to the audio on that video and you want to click use this sound. Always do this. Do not skip this step. It's very important because if you do not do it and you just upload your video the way it is, people on the platform will not have a chance to see your video underneath that original open verse challenge video. When they click the audio, they'll see a ton of other people who followed the directions and they won't see yours. So make sure you do not skip that step. Use this sound on the original video and then go to the volume and just turn down the original posters audio and keep your videos volume up. Once you're done with that, you can use the in-app edits to clean your video up, add words, add captions. If you didn't do the custom captions earlier like I did, it's completely up to you. Some people do, some people don't. And once you're done, hit upload, send your video viral to do hundreds of thousands to millions of views, right? Because that's what we're all trying to do anyway. But no, really good luck to everybody out there. Um, I hope this video was helpful and informative. Um, share it with other artists who may have the same questions. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Lucid Raps. Stay around, check out some music videos, whatever you want to do. Hopefully, this was informative, man. Y'all have a good day. I'll be back with another video soon. Take it easy.